In this video, we'll introduce you to the QuoteWorks integration with Act for Web. QuoteWorks can be used by self-hosted Act for Web users, those hosted by partners, and even those cloud-hosted by Act itself. To get started, you just need to go to the Contact Setup Contact Manager menu. And then from there, you select if you're on-premise or cloud-based. And then you'll enter your service URL and database. Then enter your credentials to ACT. Each additional user will then set up their own uh, settings under Tools My Preferences. Click on Test to make sure that it works, and it does. So from here, um, the, for the most part, the integration will be good to go. Uh, there, are just a small, there are just some small things that you'll need to look at by pressing the Setup button. Uh, so there's just a couple of things, like I said. Um, so basically, when a contact does not have an address, use the associated accounts. In this case, I'm going to use the main address. For opportunities, um, when do you want us to complete the opportunity? Um, you know, when writing items, do you want a single summary line or each individual item? For the most part, you're going to have this option here. Under activities, you have some defaults for um, your different activities, and then where you want to attach those, those act activities to under your contact or your opportunity. And then under attachments, you have the same option. Do you want it under the contact or the opportunity? And once you've reviewed your settings, you'll be good to go to create your first quote. So we're just gonna click on okay here. It's gonna go ahead and Save that, and then from here, let's go ahead and start from a template. And as you can see, I've got a very simple quote here that's all pre-configured. Let's go ahead and go to our sold to ship to tab here. And what we'll do is go ahead and search for a contact. And let's go ahead and sell it to Joe. We'll go ahead and ship it to Brian and then again, bill it to Joe. And you'll notice that we have everything filled out here. So from here, uh, maybe we need to go ahead and change the quantity here. So maybe we'll have two workstations here and then we can go ahead and select some products. I'll go ahead and bring it in from Amazon Business. Maybe we want this cable here. We'll say that we want two of those, add that to our quote, click on close, go ahead and move this up into the hardware. And then uh, basically our quote is ready to go. Obviously there's other options that we can add like different payment options, any notes, fill out any custom fields, that sort of thing. But from here, we're basically ready to go. So let's go ahead and save the quote. And now we're going to go ahead and give it a name. And we're going to go ahead and create our updated sales opportunity and act of the link document, follow up call, meeting, and to do. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. And from here, we can either link to an existing opportunity and act. In this case, I don't have any for this contact. Um, or we're just going to create a new one, which we'll do. From here, we can select the different process that we want. Maybe it's the, the typical one, uh, but maybe change the, the stage. You'll notice that the probability automatically increases. Maybe set this out for later this month. Any note that you want to add, any competitors. We can enter in a new competitor or, create an, it, or use an existing one. If there's any additional attachments, we can do that as well. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And now it's adding all the individual line items to the, the opportunity in ACT. Um, let see, we'll follow up next week. And that's good enough. Click on OK. And we'll go ahead and do this maybe at the end of next week. Click on OK. And then our to-do. And maybe we'll do this later this week. And we'll click on OK. 
All right, so we've, uh, we've gone ahead and added the items to the quote here. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like inside of ACT. And to do that, we'll go to the Sold to Ship to tab here, and we'll go ahead and click on this button here. It's gonna bring us right into ACT for Web. Um, if you're not already logged in, it'll prompt you for that. As you can see, um, I'm on my company here for Joe's Brewing, and we have our opportunity, and there it is right there. And we've got all the history there. If we go to the products and services, you'll see all the products and services from the quote unquote works. If we go to the, um, the documents tab here, you'll see that we have a DTF file. Basically that's gonna open the quote unquote works. So let's go ahead and deliver the quote to the customer. And to do that, we're just gonna go back to quote works here. We'll go ahead and click on deliver. And we'll go ahead and select the layout that we wanna use. And we'll go ahead and upload that to quote valet. Set any reminder options. Select the layout that we want to use. Click on Upload. Take a quick look to make sure it looks good. Looks good to me. So let's go ahead and send it via email to the customer. As you can see, we've got these different options here. If we had a template that we wanted to use, we could do that and click on Send. Now we're updating ACT. Uh, so we can close this, go back to ACT here real quick. And if we go back to that opportunity, you'll see our history. You'll see that um, we have that email that was just sent to Joe and it's good to go. And when the customer accepts the quote, um, we'll be notified and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and convert this quote to an order and we'll go ahead and click on okay. And what it's gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and win that opportunity inside of ACT. And click on okay. Just making sure all the items are on there, which they are, so if we go back We'll click on the company one last time here. Let's go to the opportunity. This time it's not showing up in here because it's not open anymore. It is closed one. There it is. And there you go, closed one. Awesome. So as you can see, the integration between QuoteWorks and Act for Web is seamless. If you have any questions on the integration between QuoteWorks and Act for Web, please feel free to give us a call at 407-248-1481 or send us an email, sales at quoteworks.com. And with that, have a great day.